Hello and welcome back to a new CSS Tech Talk. Today I will run you through the new 360 EVO stabilized remote head. So 360 EVO stands for evolution because the 360 EVO is based on our previous remote head designs. So we try to put a lot of new ideas into this evolution. But still we have the same payload as we had before, it's 30 kilos, 66 pounds. We try to keep the outside dimension as close to the previous remote head, so it's still very compact. Also, the weight is still very, very low. It's 11.6 kilograms or 25.6 pounds, which means we still have the weight, best weight to performance ratio. But the main thing about this head is the 360 roll axis which can run up to, up to two turns with a standard ring cable, which is a part of the package. Now, when you have a closer look, we're not only rolling the roll axis, we're also moving the zoom. That means the RCP and the new programming allows you to combine movements of the head with movements on the lens, like rotation, roll axis, and zoom in or zoom out. The other thing we did is we made the roll cage stiffer, which allows you to have more payload, higher PRD values to get a better stabilized result if you go even faster with the car, let's say, for example. Also, to speed up setup, we moved all the junction boxes now to the back of the ring. And also, we changed it to the same sockets like we're using on Trinity 2 in Artemis 2. That means same power cables providing 12, 24 volt power for the camera. We have the same data cable and the same L bus as we have now in the entire CSS product range. The other thing we did also to make life a little bit easier, we're using the same sand plates. We're using the same tap brackets to hold the camera from the top. Plus, we also added a new junction box here at the lower yoke, which gives you two extra power outlets for any kind of additional accessory. And we moved the USB socket there to make even software updates a little bit faster. Did you realize that you saw a lot of head movements in the last minute, but I did not use any of the classic controllers like joystick or wheel? And the reason why is because now here we have an improved remote control panel using a brand new user interface, which I would like to show you in detail now. The biggest difference between the former remote control panel and the EVO remote control panel is this new section below the display. Here we replaced all analog knobs against fully digital jack wheels. The good thing is a jack wheel offers that you can turn the wheel and you can push the knob, which allows us to have two functions on one controller, which means here we can change values. Touching it, we can recall a pre-programmed movement. We're now using the same user interface like the Trinity 2, that means 360 EVO and Trinity 2 running exactly on the same architecture. And the idea behind this architecture is to have a very flat menu hierarchy. Let me just give you an idea. When we touch the pan axis, we see all the other axes on one page. There's no need anymore to remember what was, for example, the speed value on the tilt axis while you're working on the pan. Because in this design, you see anyway all necessary the values at the same time. You will see the same architecture, the same concept also on the Focus Iris Zoom page, which also enables you after a while that with muzzle memory, you know exactly what you have to touch to get this desired effect. And this follows the concept also is following here on the PID values, same, same. Um, so. The idea behind this is we want to make it as easy for you as possible to go through adjustments and to program your own movements. And the new user interface allows you to do nine programmed movements, which are including pan, till, roll, focus iris zoom. And in future, we can also move through the RCP, the dolly left and right, and the column up and down. And another nice side effect of the new interface or software is we have an improved LBUS and metadata quality for future workflows like Unreal Engine. Let me explain you quickly the order process. The 360 EVO in the basic set comes without a controller. That means 
you have to place an extra order for your desired controller, which could be different joysticks. You know, we offer three kind of joystick, a standard one, this one, which is the so-called broadcast, and a tiny one, which is the Microforce. Of course, we offer the RD wheels for the Evo. And what is also quite interesting, we have Elbus paddles. That means you can program zoom, roll, or moving the dolly, and you can control this with your feet. If you're working more in a broadcast application, you should think about to order the focus wheel and the zoom rocker. Another good news is you can upgrade your existing 360 to a 360 Evo. And the way it works is you're going to contact your local RE service and they contact Munich because the upgrade has to be done here in Munich. And together we will organize a time slot for your upgrade. And then you will bring your head in time to your local RE service. They're going to fly the head to Munich. We're going to do the upgrade as fast as possible. Fly it back to your local service and you're going to pick up your head at the RE service. Well, that's from my side today. And I hope you're going to see us soon again for the next CSS Tech Talk.